in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our good night message on this Thursday, the 31st of December 2020, the last day of the year of the Lord 2020, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this gratitude message entitled Thanking God for what has been. You may complain of many things as you go to bed tonight and maybe some of you may not even sleep in trying to make sure that you see how 2021 will look like. You are looking back from January 1st until December 31st. You are looking at the challenges we have faced. And you are trying to scratch your head, is there anything we have to thank God for? In the heavy moments we have faced in this year 2020, oh yes. First of all, thank God for your own life. That you are alive to listen to this last message of the year of the Lord 2020. The last good night message in this year 2020. It's a blessing. And we have every reason to thank him. We thank him for the trials he allowed us to face in this 2020. We thank him for the disappointments, for the brokenness that many of us faced, for those whom we lost in our families, for the people we expected to cross 2020 into 2021 with us and are not with us. We thank him for them. We have many other things we have to be grateful to God for. Our own faith. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he sent his beloved son, so that whosoever believes in him might not perish. We have a faith that is keeping us strong. We have a faith that has grown even through listening to these good night messages. And we want to thank God for that. We want to thank him for the gift of the family. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 4. You have a family. You have people you can call and share with your own problems. Despite everything that happened this year, we have every reason to thank him for the family that we have. We have to thank God for his word, the word we have been receiving from various sources, from me, from many other servants of God, the word that has built our faith. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. We have to thank him for the love that we experienced in this year 2020. The daily problems that we experienced too, we thank him. 
James chapter 1 verse 2 to 4. God is our provider. If we didn't have problems, our focus would grow inward. We thank him by faith for the trials of this life because they draw us to him and remind us that this earth is not our home. We would like to thank him that he has helped us to understand that we are not in control of situations. Many programs were changed. A lot of things that we had planned to work on did not work as we decided because of the pandemic that changed everything. Even for that, we thank him because we understood that he is in control, we are not in control. And we surrender everything to him. As we end this year, we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything that has been. Thank you, Lord, for everything you allowed us to go through. Because you tell us in your word in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, all things work together for good for those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. Everything that happened was for our good. And we want to look forward to 2021 with renewed hearts, with renewed optimism, as we say, thank you, Lord, for this year 2020. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father.